from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for February 22nd, 2017. Today, we're going to take a look at the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. We're starting here on the daily time frame. I've zoomed out quite a bit so we can see history of the price levels that we are challenging over the past uh, several days. You go back to the left hand side of the chart. We're looking at February and March of 2016. So about a year ago is where the market was up in the same price levels that we're at right now. You take a look at each one of the black circles, and inside the black circle, there's that green shaded area. Just underneath it, the blue zone. Just above it, the yellow zone. Green zone, really what we want to focus in on. Resistance, 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 all along that green zone. Then you come back here to the right-hand side at the top of the blue trend line, which obviously the market has been in an uptrend here for the AUD USD. But you find resistance once again at that green shaded area. That's between 77.20 and 77.45. If it's going to continue the uptrend, which is the blue trend line, if it's going to continue that uptrend, it's an imperative that it breaks through that green shaded area. And we challenged that last week and was in, unable to break through that green zone, much like over the past year for the Australian dollar. The only thing I would look for is a break above 77.45, then my confidence would increase in the continuation of the uptrend towards the yellow zone or higher, but first off the yellow zone as the next potential resistance. Since it has been, been unable to breach that green shaded area, I'm now watching for evidence and clues to resistance and reversal because that's what's happened for the past year from this green zone is majority of the time, the high probability is resistance and reversal. Why? Because that's fact. It's something we can look back and see on the left-hand side of the chart. So we need to watch for evidence of that. Price action, uh, candlestick formations, uh, changes in the trend behavior to give us a clue that the market is changing direction. So we see the blue trend line. Let's go ahead and zoom it in one time. It has been, of course, moving up along the blue trend line. We capped high at the resistance, and now we're sitting underneath the blue shaded area. Let's take a look at that blue shaded area a little bit more. You look over here uh, on the right-hand side, you can see that area between 76.80 and 76.95. So far, with the exception of this one period where it pushed above and then got right back in, we have not seen any candle bodies open and close. We've seen one close, we've seen one open, but we haven't seen a singular candle body open and close above that blue zone. So that blue zone is clearly a resistance. We know it's resistance, it's fact that it's resistance, so that becomes a potential resistance and reversal point at the top of the trend. Remember that old buy, uh, old trading motto, buy low, sell high. If you're at the top of the trend, if you're at the highest peak high of the trend, which we're very near it right now, then it's not a great place to go long. If you're going to buy anything, doesn't matter what you're buying, you want to buy it at a lower price. So buying right now, going long right now, just doesn't seem like a logical situation for the Australian dollar. We've already now, today even, pushed underneath the blue trend line. Today's the first candle really to open underneath that blue trend line. And what I mean by that is we're connecting that blue trend line with the low down here at the bottom of the chart. The low right before the highest high. The low right before the highest high is the, the last low before the end of the uptrend. And now we're sitting underneath that blue trend line. So that gives us, again, a clue to resistance underneath that blue trend line. Let's go ahead and take this down to the four-hour time frame. And as we began looking at in the trade room, over the past few days. Again, there's that blue shaded area. We saw the challenge above, support on top, came back, and then sitting underneath it. We've been looking at this blue zone as a potential resistance point and a point of reversal. Take a look at our last four hour, uh, four hour candle. Big spike above it, unable to stay above the... Uh, 7,700 levels, significant reversal, an infusion of sell orders, and now we see the market pushing lower. Yesterday, actually, in the trade room, we placed a pending order here, 7,685, uh, inside the blue shaded area. Had to endure a little bit of a push above it, but it was it was fairly safe. Uh, again, uh, the push above our entry at 7,685 only went about 25, 26 pips. So if you put a, a 30 pip stop loss on it, which is what I put on it, uh, you were fairly safe. Uh, it came very close, but fairly safe on it. And now it's coming back down into profit. If you're not in the trade, I still look at this blue zone between 76.80 and 76.95 as the point of resistance and reversal. We're going to look for it to 
find resistance here, stay within and underneath the blue trend line and blue shaded area. The risk, of course, is that it breaks above it, so we don't want it to get above the blue shaded area. We'll target our first level of support, which is clearly the orange zone. You can see that right here. A breakdown of the orange zone, which it has not done since getting back above it over here. You see over here, it got it back above it. It's been sitting on the orange zone. So if it breaks underneath it, there's a better chance, the probability increases, that it's going to go down here towards the 7600, 7605 or so level. We might move that up a little bit we, when we get in the trade room towards 5. But definitely looking towards the blue purple shaded area as our next potential target breaking through the orange zone on reversal for the Australian dollar. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.